In this tutorial, we will use Threads 2 to add validation to our Register Insurant Agent form. These are the steps we will follow. First, we will reuse our form processing project from our previous tutorial. Then we will add a validate method to our insurant agent register action. Then we will write code to validate the insurant agent fields. We will expand our strats.xml configuration file in order to handle validation errors. And then we will also write code to display the validation errors in our register.jsp form. Here we are back in Eclipse and our first step would be to reuse our Enroll Insurance Agent project. Since I've already repeated this process in the previous two lectures, I'm just going to skip ahead here. So this is our Struts2 Validate Insurance Agent project. So we'll just make sure that everything still runs properly. Looks good. So we will start by adding the validate method to our register action. And in our validate method, we will write the code to validate some of the fields in our register insurance agent form. Let's say that the first name, last name, and email fields are all required fields. Now we're going to use the add field error method. And we're going to repeat the same process for the last name and the email. I'll just cut and paste it in here and then just move the whole method down. Let's see if we can look at the code here. This is the add field error code in the action support class. So now that we've written the validation code, we will have to extend our configuration and of course, also add the error messages in our response JSP page. So let's go ahead and do that. This is to return to the input field on an error. And now let's have a look at our JSP register page. Now we're going to add some built-in style sheet formatting that is provided by Struts2 for us by adding the following header. And let's see what our form validation looks like. That looks good. Struts2 provides us with the error messages and the highlight red, so we'll fix that. Let's submit it again. Now it goes through because it validated all the required fields. And that concludes our overview of the basic Struts2 form validation. Of course, there is a more sophisticated way of validating your forms through using XML or annotations. For my YouTube students, there will be a link to my Udemy course in the description where you will be able to download all the source code in zip file format. I'll see you in the next tutorial.